Good morning and welcome to today's webinar where you will be hearing um, about how to start the business of your dreams as a CX coach. You will be hearing from our Chief Revolution Officer, John DeJulius, shortly. And please stick around for the end of today's webinar for a very exciting announcement in regards to our May onboarding coach camp. And now I'm going to turn it over to John. Thank you, Lindsay. And hello, revolutionaries. And welcome to how to, you know, build a, a, a very successful, lucrative coaching business. First, let me tell you a little bit about the DeJulius Group. Uh, the DeJulius Group is the world's leading authority on customer experience and employee experience. Um, we've written five best-selling books, and we have an incredible methodology that uh, businesses all over the globe uses um, that we've worked with. Um, other brands we have uh, under the DeJulius Group is, is uh, the Customer Service Revolution, which is a, a, an annual conference we put on every year. Um, the Customer Experience Executive Academy, which is uh, a like for CXOs and future CXOs, Chief Experience Officers, Chief Customer Officers, where it's kind of a, a master's uh, class for them to prepare them to lead their company. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, if so, if you're working for a, a, a private company, uh, uh, you know, and, and you're going to lead their customer experience, that's to prepare you to do that in your organization. And then our newest brand that started in 2020 is CX Coaching, um, which is uh, what we're talking about today. And that is for people who want to be their own boss, uh, start their own coaching program, and they could use our methodology and go out and teach this to their clients that they uh, uh, drum up. So big difference, um, you know, the difference between the DeJulius Group and CX Coach and the DeJulius Group is a, is a full scale consulting company, typically working with large companies, a hundred million or, or, or bigger, where we're going in uh, and, and, and holding their hand and helping them create everything. And, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, weekly support calls, a lot of on sites, and that could go anywhere from six months to five years. Um, CX coaching is, like I said, you know, typically for smaller brands that can't afford consulting, don't have the resources to de dedicate to consulting, um, maybe 50 million and below, um, and, and, but they, they really need help with their customer service um, and employee experience. Um, and then, then, then go back to the customer experience uh, executive academy. That's a, a licensing where you get certified as a, 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 a customer experience executive. Um, the difference between CX coaching and customer experience executive academy is uh, you would, if you're working for a company now and you're, you're going to run uh, or you have someone that you want to run your customer experience for that for your company, that's that's the uh, that, that's the Harvard of of customer experience. CX coaching is a completely different model. Um, I just want to make sure you know uh, um, um, you, you're in the right place for the right thing, and that's what we're talking about today. CX coaching is you want to be an entrepreneur and you want to build your own business. Um, that's what that is. So uh, I'm going to uh, go forward with the whole CX coaching model and and, and uh, see if it's a fit for. Uh, our attendees. Um, now, more than ever, it's the best time to be in customer service, employee experience, um, coaching, uh, because it is just blowing up. Um, everyone wants to know if we are in a recession, if we're in the beginning of a recession, if a recession's coming. Well, I'm here to tell you that we've been in a recession for over two and a half years since the start of the pandemic. Um, and that recession is a customer service recession. So I'm sure everyone listening, watching, um, feels it as a customer, probably feels it as a leader in their business because um, almost every company across the board is suffering. Um, the uh, ACSI, American Customer Satisfaction Index, who reports on all industries, um, has reported that in Q2 of this year, and that's the most recent uh, reporting they have, um, the Customer Satisfaction Index has hit a 17-year low. And again, I, I'm sure your experience as a consumer, as a customer, as a client. Why um, has cu is customer uh, satisfaction dropping in all industries by majority of companies um, like, like the Titanic? Well, 
inflation, prices are up, sales are up in a lot of business, and service and the experience is down. Um, you got things happening like shrinkflation. I don't know if you've heard about shrinkflation, but sh sh shrinkflation is a shady way companies are uh, increasing their prices without their customers knowing. Okay, I'd rather a company be transparent and say we had to raise our prices due to inflation, due to supply chain issues, due to whatever it is. Well, sh shrinkflation are products that have been redesigned, okay, um, still charging the same amount, but they're smaller. And, and, and they're hoping that the consumer doesn't know. So you're getting less uh, for the same. A shrinkflation might be less, uh, you know, uh, entree uh, on your entree or, you know, in the salon and spa business, uh, you may be booking a one hour massage, uh, but only getting a 50 minute, massa uh, 50 minute massage or a 90 minute massage is really an 80 minute massage. Um, I mean, it's happening in every industry. Uh, Frontier just announced that they got rid of their phones. You cannot call Frontier Airlines anymore. You can only do digital uh, communication, which you know, it's midnight and your flight got canceled and you're stuck somewhere or all the various reasons. So all these things, including um, employee burnout from, from uh, the great resignation, low employee morale, high employee turnover, staff shortages, uh, poor hiring, lack of service aptitude training. We're just hiring people and throwing them out there on the front lines, supply chain issues and not managing expectations has is infuriated customers and has really caused you know all this happening again you know it uh, as a customer and probably as a business leader now i showed you how uh, customer uh, service is at a, a 17 year low satisfaction but look at this this is uh you know uh, uh the top 10 percent of companies in every industry uh, that have, have the highest customer satisfaction outperform this, the stock market by 400%, right? That's crazy. So people are realizing, companies are realizing, leaders are realizing how critical the employee and, 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 and customer experience is. The companies that will dominate the next decade will be the ones obsessed with evolving the experience they provide to both their team members and clients. So that is why we are could never be positioned better to 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 be offering CX coaching for uh, um, you know future coaches. Um, what makes a successful business coach? Um, three things. Uh, the first one is having a phenomenal methodology group blueprint to follow, and that's what we provide. Turnkey. You do not have to worry about that. That it, you ha we'll show you, and you'll see in this in, in this uh, webinar how we provide everything you need. The two and three is what you have to provide. The second thing is, is that you have a genuine passion to, to help companies um, get better at customer and employee experience. Um, if you have that, you're in the right place. And the third thing, and, and it's not only you, but we help you too, is, is um, that you, know, you have to be, uh, have the ability to be an entrepreneur and go out and hunt and attract clients to become, you can't count on, on, on uh, CX Coaching Global, which is uh, AKA the DeJulius Group, uh, to provide you with enough leads. If you get any leads from us, um, it's frosty on the cake, but you have to be able to go out and hunt and build a pipeline that will start feeding you clients. And then once you have clients and success, they will start referring you. So that's probably the hardest of all three things. So let's talk about that. Um, you know, how do you build? And um, we have a CX coaching uh, um, uh, boot camp that's uh, uh, four days. And this is where we teach you, um, you know, those things, it, how to, to run a business, um, how to, uh, uh, you know, create your center of influence. So it's filling your pipeline, bu building your center of influence. Who, uh, who is in and should be in your center of influence? how to work it, uh, past customers from previous careers, past colleagues, friends. It's not mean you're selling them, but you're letting them know, hey, this is what I'm doing now. And they may know someone uh, that is struggling, uh, a, a, an entrepreneur or a business owner that's struggling uh, with their customer employee experience, which right now it's not too easy. There's, there's not a business you can't go in that isn't challenged with the customer experience and employee experience. 
Um, you know, part of our, 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 our toolbox is helping you, you know, have, you know, learn how to use a sales lead tracker and it breaks it down. And this kind of becomes your, your compass of something that you're going to look at every single day. So we have a lot of best practices of how you build that pipeline. And this is other examples of coaches that, you know, do different things, um, to, 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 to build their pipeline. So a lot of time of that is spent in uh, the uh, uh, CX coaching bootcamp and, and then always ongoing of, of, of best practices. We bring in um, our own uh, coaches that are very successful to teach you uh, what they're doing. And we bring in outside resources to teach you how to, how to you know, be uh, better at sales and, and building that pipeline and closing sales. Um, the mission of CX Coaching is to be the leading customer experience coaching authority, transforming businesses worldwide. And we do have uh, coaches currently in different parts of the country and throughout the U.S. Our purpose is to change the world by creating a customer service revolution. That's really important to us. And we have a definition to what a customer service revolution is. It is a radical overthrow of conventional business mentality designed to transform what employees and customers experience. This shift produces a culture that permeates into people's personal life, at home, and in the community, which in turn provides a business with higher sales, morale, and brand loyalty, thus making price irrelevant. And that's what we like to do. We like to help our clients not have to chase price, not have to compete in price, rather make price irrelevant. And the definition to that is... Based on the experience your brand consistently delivers, your customers have no idea what your competition charges. So that's what CX Coaching does. It helps not have your clients be chasing price, being worried about being the lowest bidder. Um, you know, if you think about great brands like Apple or Lululemon or, or Starbucks or Chick-fil-A or American Express, so many, they are so good. They've made price irrelevant, right? They're charging a premium where people are, are, are almost doing the exact same thing for a lot less. That's where we're helping them. Um, one of my uh, favorite uh, um, uh, terms is ikigai. And ikigai is the Japanese meaning for finding your calling in life. And that means four things have to intersect in order for you to find your ikigai. The first thing is what do you love to do? What, what, will, what, what will be a career that you jump out of bed, that you love Monday mornings as much as you love Friday at six o'clock, right? You love your weekends as much as you love your middle of the week, okay? But that's not enough because finding uh, something you love that you, you can't be great at is a hobby, okay? So the second intersection has to be something that you could be the best at, all right, that you can crush, and, and only being the best at something is not enough because there's a lot of people that are great at something, but don't love it. And what that is, is a job. And that might be why you're listening, right? So we want you to find something you love that you absolutely can be the best at, that you can make a great living at. And then finally, the fourth intersection is that makes a positive impact on the world. So find something you love that you could be great at, that makes an incredible living, that makes a positive impact on the world, and you have found your ikigai. And if, 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 if at the end of this, this sounds like something you want to explore, then, then CX Coaching might be it for you. Mark Twain said, the two most important days in your life are the day you're born and the day you find out why. Love that. And here is CX Coaching Global's mission for our coaches. We want you to make more than you ever thought possible. However, we want you to feel that the money was the least valuable thing you've received from being part of this brand. It's really important to us. We want you to make more money than you ever thought possible, but we just want that to be the tip of the iceberg. We want you to feel that the money was the least valuable thing from you received from being part of this brand. So let's get into it. Our biggest advantage is our methodology, okay? Our methodology has been proven I've been consulting for 25 years. The Julius Group work with some of the best brands in the world, and this is what they 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 hire us for. So we've modified it to fit a coaching program. And an example of uh, of uh, uh, you know when you, you get hired um, by a client is you do these methodologies. They're every quarter. You go in and you do the immersion quarter one, and then the the the, cus the customer service vision quarter two. Now. So these are all our methodologies. So you do five sessions a year with a client. Um, however, 
so sometimes they don't go in this order. This is the order it's laid out, but a lot of times um, a client, you might have to do triage and they might you know, have horrible turnover right now, which a lot of uh, obviously clients, uh, businesses have. So you might have to bump up world-class leadership or world-class internal culture to be one uh, of the first things you do. But that's kind of the, the, the uh, model of what that looks like. And they may, they're interchangeable when you do them. Um, what is coaching versus consulting? The main difference between coaching and consulting is coaching pulls out the answers uh, from the client while consulting tells the client what to do. Consulting is doing it for them, providing them the answers. Coaching is using the tools to help them come up with it on their own. A coach facilitates, gives directions, and should not be depended on in between sessions. So we want the, the, the workshops that you do once a quarter for your clients are, are meant to be inclusive of what they have to do um, in the next 90 days before you come out the next time. So there's not, there shouldn't be a lot of handholding in between that would take time away from you to either be working with other clients, closing other clients, or having your own free quality time. So that's the advantage. Um, this methodology has been used by hundreds of world-class brands um, that we've worked with the DeJulius Group. And so, you know, there's proof and, and, and every industry we've worked in and, you know, we have clients and case studies uh, to help uh, our coaches get off the ground and, and be able to use that, those case studies with their clients. So, uh, this, you know, the, 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 the target client is typically between 50, 5 million and 50 million. It doesn't mean you would turn down 100 million, um, but that's probably the sweet market. And literally, we have worked in every industry. So what's, how does it start? The coach camp is, is three days plus uh, uh, it, there's a fourth day where all the coaches come in. We usually time it with their, their, their quarterly. And these, uh, the coach camp, we actually do not cover uh, any of our methodology, okay? The methodology is on the portal, all the videos, audios, and you'll see what that is. That is, is on your own time that you're doing that. The coach camp is really to help teach you how to become a successful business owner, business operations, sourcing and closing leads, marketing and sales, delivering a world-class client experience and dynamic presentation skills. That is what's done in the, in, in the coach camp. Now, the best thing, uh, well, one of the best things is the, what we call the CX coach uh, online portal. This, as soon as you sign up um, and, and become uh, you know, uh, a coach, you have access and this is just a wealth. There is everything in this you need. So there, there is, you know, a, 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 the schedule of, of, of our events, the coaches events, we get together quarterly, we have monthly calls, we, you know, and we, 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 and that's really the best thing is the community that you're going to learn from each other. Um, other things on the online portal is the CX coaching one sheet. And that's really the, the, the way you sell yourself and the methodology. And that really helps you, um, when you, when you start meeting with potential clients, um, the sales and marketing resources, the case studies, uh, videos, branding, marketing, unlimited stuff that you can use. Um, also on the, uh, on the portal is every workshop. There's 10 workshops is a slide deck for you to already made for you. And it has scripting in there, so you help. It also there for every session you do is a video of me or one of my uh, 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 facilitators presenting the material, so you can watch it a hundred times. We even have it uh, that you can download to your iTunes and listen to the audio. So as you're preparing, you're working out, you're driving, you could be better understanding the content. There is a pre-work for each session that you send out to the project lead. There is post-work. So you give it to them at the end of your session that tells them what they have to do um, in the next 90 days before you come back. There is, uh, well, that's the pre-work. There is a client workbook that's, uh, you know, you just send and they print out and, and for your, your people, all this is created. There's a facilitator's guide for you to know where you are. There's the facilitator's agenda that the client doesn't see, but it tells you where you should be at by what time of the day, what slide, what exercises should be uh, uh, um, created. And then we have the 
uh, agenda for each section that the client gets, not as detailed, and, and slides to use with each client. There are so many things. There's a PL template, there's the sales lead tracker. I, I, I'm not even probably scratching 10% of the tools that's on the CX Coaching Online Portal, which you have a, a success coach, uh, Lindsay, who is always there for you, helping, guiding you, showing you uh, where it is if you forget. Uh, having calls besides our monthly calls. The CX coaching is community, it, it, community it is the most valuable thing when we get together. Um, passionate CX coaching community, uh, quarterly uh, education events that we come together one day and, and brainstorm, learn best practices, um, uh, new methodology and, and what's working and what isn't. Uh, we have an annual customer service uh, revolution conference um, that's included. Um, uh, that you get uh, to, to come and you can invite your clients to and hopefully uh, meet potential clients. And then we always have our fourth quarter, quarterly the day after. So uh, when you come to Cleveland, you don't have to come twice. Um, weekly community training calls when you start off, uh, multiple revenue streams besides just the sessions. Um, uh, hopefully uh, some referrals from the CX Coaching Global. Uh, we have people that call and looking, but uh, again, I can't stress enough. We want you not to count on that. Um, and that's just frosty on the cake if we can, uh, you know, send Jay, because, uh, you know, we get some, but but there's a lot of coaches to uh, cipher them through who's who's uh, geographically a fit um, and, and industry uh, expertise. Books, uh, part of your initial package, you get a case of the customer service revolution book, which is really the methodology. Um, that you can send out. And it's one of the best lead gens for you to send out to CEOs and, and CEOs and then follow up with them and say, did you read the book? And, and I'd love to have a meeting with your leadership team and tell you how I can help you accomplish this with your, with your, your, your company. Um, I want to share some case study examples um, that are very valuable. So New Day USA Mortgage Company um, serving veterans. They, they serve uh, vet, veterans of the military. Their biggest issue each month was 15% of their veterans, potential customers, uh, who are already approved, were opting out before the loan closed, right? That's a really bad thing. They're already approved, but right before the loan closed, 15% were, were, you know, checking out, uh, which uh, we call VU, veteran opt-out. Every 1% of a VU was costing New Day USA over $400,000 in revenue per month, a huge problem. So working with the DeJulius Group, we found out the primary cause for these VUs was a lack of weekly communication and updates by their account executives. They were too focused on the next sale and not taking care of the veterans in the current pipeline. So we helped New Day create a, a system that ensured every veteran was communicated with at least once a week, actually every five days, providing certainty and a reduction in anxiety to the veteran. Actually, if, if, if the uh, account executive didn't communicate with the veteran every five days, the loan froze. When the loan froze, bells and sirens went off. The CEO, the CEO, um, you know, everyone found out about it. So as an account executive, you did not want a, a loan to freeze. So as a result, New Day's monthly VU percent went from 15% to 8% in just four months. That reduction of 7% meant an increase in over $2 million in revenue each month at no additional expenses to advertising or marketing. Pretty good, right? So those are the type of case studies before you start having your own that, that you could use to demonstrate how powerful our methodology is. Here's uh, another one I want to share with you. Worldwide Express is a shipping company and they could not outsell high customer attrition. High customer attrition meant they were losing 19% of their customers per year. So they had to get 20% new business just to break even. So uh, we helped uh, Worldwide transform its customer service culture by launching their customer service vision statement, improving their consistency of every customer touch point building strong customer relationships that not, were not predicated on being the lowest price and having service recovery protocols in place when a customer is unhappy. And this is the results.
So there was a key point in time where we hit about 80 million in sales. And we were growing fast, but we hit this point be and we couldn't grow because our attrition rate was so high. We had 19% attrition and we just couldn't outgrow it. And customer attrition, right? customer attrition. And my friend here said, listen, let's get Don, uh, John DeJulius involved. So I met with John and he told me about all of his uh, customer experience programs. And I said, listen, he said, listen, why don't you try it out for a year? I said, we're going to commit to three years right now. And I turned to every single person in my company. I said, we are committing to a three-year program because that has to be the difference between us and the other 10,000 people who are out there selling our customers. So we hired them. And in 18 months, our attrition rate went from 19% to 3%. Our sales went from 80 million to 120 million. Gotta love that, right? Those are results that easily pay for, you know, a two year uh, working with a CX coach. So those are the results you'll start getting and, and that you could use with, with your uh, um, clients and future clients. So let me tell you about different revenue opportunities. Each coach can set their own daily rates, um, and, you know, and we'll help you, uh, you know, and, and um, the process is two years with approximately five sessions per year per client, okay, which is 10 sessions days per client over the span of two years. Um, one client at a rate of 3,500, which is a very low price. I don't even know if we have any coaches charging that low, but we're starting to conservative equals uh, 17,500 per client. Okay, so this is what it could look like, right? Session one, but pretend we're, we're starting on January 1st, you're doing a session one immersion. Then you come back, you know, on, on April uh, 1st and you do session two. And then, you know, so you do uh, one each quarter and the last quarter, whatever your fourth quarter of your, your, your fiscal year is with your client, you actually do two back to back. You do a session four, uh, which like in this case would be the customer experience cycle uh, uh, workshop. And then you have a, 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 a piggyback day, which is strategizing uh, what you accomplished this year, what do they have to revisit and improve and strengthen, and then strategizing the following year. So that's like what one year will look like for each of your clients. And then this is uh, your, your revenue opportunity. So if you have a number of clients, and let's say you start off with just 10, um, you know, in year one rate per day, you're charging 3,500. Again, you determine that, um, you know, you have five, uh, sessions per year with each client means you have a total of 50 sessions a year. If you have 10 clients, that means your annual revenue just in, 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 in your workshops is $175,000. All right. Let's say you, 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 you're, you're getting uh, better and you, you got 15 clients and you've, you've increased your rate to $4,000. Your annual session is still five. Um, you're doing uh, 25 more sessions because you got five more clients. And now your annual revenue is at $300,000 just in, 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 in workshop sessions. There's other revenue streams here. Um, and then you, know, you have clients, uh, you, maybe you're at 20 clients and you're charging $5,000 a day. That shows you that you have 500,000 in, in annual revenue. And we, one of our coaches has only been doing it um, a little bit less than two years now is, is, is real close to that number, uh, uh, that third column, um, and will surpass that uh, in, in 2023 uh, easily. But, but he's getting to the max of, of how many clients you want to take. So, you know, you maybe he, he increases his, his uh, day rate to over uh, uh, 5,000. But it's also about quality of life, right? So if you have a hundred session, that means you have 20 clients, hundred session days. Um, you need, you know, uh, 65 days of admin prep, uh, meeting with people, trying to close them. So that gives you 200 free days, right? So, so this is about having, making really good money, but having quality of life. Um, and then there's other revenue streams. Um, you know, you, you could, uh, uh, you get our books, um, at, 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 at a much lower rate than, than they can get 
um, from bookstores or Amazon. You could, you could sell your clients books. They buy them for their staff or whatever, and you get to keep the, the markup. Um, and and if, if, if you refer someone to someone else, um, there, there's a commissions to that. There, there's several other revenue streams in there besides just your session days. So what does all that look like? Well, we have a one-time licensing fee of $15,000. Now, remember, one client, if you're only charging $3,000, might have been $3,500. I can't remember what the first example was. That you know already pays for your one-time licensing fee. But that gets you to the boot camp and inside the portal and all that. Um, and then you, you, we have a, a $750 uh, monthly membership uh, ongoing. And that gets you all the other things as far as the um, uh, access to the, the, the portal, um, all our methodology, all our videos, all those things that I explained earlier, um, the weekly or bi-weekly uh, training when you first start off in your first 90 days, the monthly all coaches uh, uh, virtual meeting and the quarterly um, uh, on sites where we all come together uh, once a quarter and the Customer Service Revolution Conference. How do you get started? If you're interested, uh, reserve your next spot in our coach camp. Uh, then you get to log into the CX Coach online portal and start learning and studying, and you attend the CX Coach Camp. And uh, if you're interested, contact Lindsay at cxcoaching.com or schedule a call with her today at tdg.click forward slash CX Coaching. Thank you, John. So as far as our big announcement regarding our May Coach Camp, which will be held in Cleveland May Tuesday, um, the 16th, 17th, and 18th, um, we are going to be um, waiving the one-time licensing fee that John mentioned previously in today's webinar. Um, and the only upfront fee that will be due when it comes to onboarding in our May Coach Camp would be the monthly um, $750 fees for one year upfront, which would be a total of 9,000. So that would be your buy-in as far as starting your own coaching business, um, joining the CX coaching coaches and the community. Um, and then that would be the only fee that would be due technically until September of 2024. I'm giving all of our newly onboard coaches a um, very good amount of time to be able to get their business underway and start seeing that return on investment. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Again, my email is lindsay at cxcoaching.com. Um, and you can also read up more and submit a contact form to us, um, to me um, at cxcoaching.com. So I look forward to hearing from you. Have a fantastic day. And thank you so much for joining us. Take care.